It's a red letter day for Rainbow Six Siege as Crimson Heist is coming to kick off year six in style. I mean, just look at those glasses. Fire. The man behind them is Flores, the new attacker from Argentina who deploys zippy little drones that pack a big punch. But he's not the only one bringing the boom. Some attackers will get an explosive implement of their own with a new secondary weapon option, the Gone Six. Crimson Heist will also deliver a new rework for the border map and launch the beta of Match Replay on PC, so you'll have a new way to analyze your opponents or show off your 200 IQ plays. It's a new year and Team Rainbow has a lot in store, so take a second to subscribe to this channel and let's take a deeper look at Crimson Heist. Flores is a new medium speed, medium armor operator, and he's finally created the DIY device that every attacker dreams of. He put a bomb on a drone. His RCE Rotero gadget can clear out pesky defender obstacles like barricades and shields and barbed wires and what have you. And it can also target gadgets like Bandit's batteries or Maestro's evil eyes to minimize meddling from the defending team. Plus, it's very dangerous for anyone caught in its blast radius, though the explosive timer is long enough for savvy defenders to get clear. Here's how it works. Once Flores deploys a Rotero device, its wheels start spinning, and it moves ahead non-stop until it is destroyed or its explosive is triggered. It can be steered, it can jump, and it can go anywhere a normal attacker drone can go, but it can't reverse or slow down. While moving, the Rotero is vulnerable to being destroyed by enemy bullets, electricity, lasers, and Mozzie's pests, or to being stopped by Mute's jammers. So, players will have to be wary to ensure the Rotero reaches its target. However, once the explosive is triggered, either manually or automatically when the countdown timer reaches zero, it's the defenders that will have to watch out. Engaging the explosive causes the Rotero to anchor. It immediately stops moving, armors itself, and becomes bulletproof. Then, after a short fuse timer, boom. The Rotero's explosion can take a lot of defender utility off the board, and the anchoring feature gives savvy Flores players some extra flexibility. When the Rotero anchors, it sticks to any surface it's touching, and if the Rotero is mid-air, it'll stick to the next surface it touches, including walls, deployable shields, and some enemy gadgets. And though it has no effect on reinforced surfaces, it can open up an unreinforced hatch, or create a big old breach in a destructible wall to give Flores a new route to push with his AR-33 assault rifle, his SR-25 marksman rifle, or his GSH-18 sidearm. His set of explosive Rotero drones, along with the stun grenades or claymore in his secondary gadget slot, give Flores a lot of reach and potential to make an impact. Whether he's clearing the way for his teammates, denying diffuser access in a post-plant situation, or simply out for blood, Flores brings style and substance to any attacking team. If you're looking to boost your explosive capabilities beyond a Flores pick, then Crimson Heist has just the thing, the Gone Six. It's a new secondary weapon option for some attackers that comes loaded with a single explosive round to help you clear out all sorts of bulletproof gadgets. You may only have one shot, but sometimes all it takes is one round to change a round. Speaking of rounds, the ones you've been seeing here have all played out on the new border map rework. A host of small changes have been made across the map to increase mobility options, including the new exterior staircase to the Archives office balcony, and the new interior balcony over waiting room that connects East Stairs to the break room. A number of objective sites have been extended and reorganized, making for cleaner lines of sight and better balance. And the bathroom in particular has a new destructible wall near the exterior window that might interest you. You may also be interested to learn that the noise from the helicopter circling overhead has been significantly reduced. And the guy on the PA system will only be making his announcements during the prep phase. Crimson Heist will also mark a new milestone for the match replay feature, which will be entering a beta phase as it becomes available to all PC players on live servers. 
Crimson Heist is coming soon to Rainbow Six Siege, bringing the Gone Six and Border Map rework free to all players at launch. The new attacker, Flores, will be available at launch through the Crimson Heist Battle Pass as the first unlock of the premium track, and will be available two weeks later for purchase with Renown or R6 credits. To keep up with the big changes and exciting new additions coming in year six of Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Hero charges him while they flip some to a recon ground. The damage is going to deploy and continue to really take a key map. He slowed or stopped. They also have a 10 second timer, so it must be driven to the target. Explodes. During travel time, the, uh, the RCE is vulnerable to jammers, electricity, and any fire. When the fuse triggers either after the timer went down or when sitting nearly started, the device becomes bulletproof and ar archers in place for a few seconds before detonation that explodes will not breach reinforced walls, but it will destroy any defender gadget and kill operators, so it's an effective cleanup tool. Bulletproof shields and reach higher placed gadgets. So, uh, I really want to know, I really want to know how this is going to work out in, like, ranked player and stuff like that, Kazo, if they're, like, going to ban it or not. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty crazy. So, on equipment, Flores can use the R8 25 rifle that has the GSH-18 pistol for secondary gadgets he can choose from Sugnades or Claymore. Thing of equipment, Custom Heist introduced the G O N N E 6, I don't know how to pronounce that. The single We're shot is Changing back! You need to be a proof gadget. You only have to be able to do it. Needs to be used to help overcome the distance advantage that the thing has. This is a portal border. The very first thing I've seen. It's not a major change, but it's a similar and a 15 seconds remaining. Yeah, on Clubhouse. Yeah. 10 slide. seconds left. Rearrangement of armor lockers and expansion of bathrooms. 5 seconds to go. Operators, you have run out of time. Proximity. Alert has been added to the side of an attacking drone of the birds in a Nazi test device. The newcomer's playoff has been revamped with Border, Oregon, Clubhouse, Cafe, Coastline, and Bank on rotation, and their in match timings alerted of, to be the same as rank. They're also a new stream mode designed to prevent stream sniping attacks. 
by hiding important information and delaying your matchmaking by a random amount of time. This should make it so stream snipers are less likely to be matchmade with a streamer they are targeting. So if you don't want to get stream sniped, you can go anonymous and it won't show their name. I heard you can like disable your profile picture so that they don't know who they're going for. And it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna work. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Like onto our PC because the two favorite platforms. Is much Attackers have located a bomb. Drop shoes, as ever now. New operators are the big Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Has been reported, and new operators are now the first tier of the so the year the, the, the year battle pass are out the game and the first the new battle pass the, the new operators and the bottom so we buy them. I don't the top we get the new Ten seconds to go. No, I just want hard. Ten bucks. So that's amazing. Five seconds so left before so insertion of course still be bought with three down, but battle pass attackers are to use, use a bomb. Ahead, non battle pass owners. After floors, next operator will be the new apps are planned for the new six and new version of the After we work up for season one and season two, we'll be with Gavella, which will remain in the casual map pool and not graduate to ranked. Season three will not feature any major map we work, but it will instead provide smaller tweaks. As established in your five all seasons, also provide a special event as well as the modes for gameplay future changes this year. Are focused on that, making attackers stronger and combating the enemy is about to scan the area. Problem. You have been exposed. The problem. Sorry if I'm gonna have to making attackers stronger, combating the. 22nd made at higher levels. Enemy drone dropping for scan. You're exposed. And strength their position. This starts with traditional arc. Gone 6 sidearm in season 1. The G O N N E 6 sidearm. Can't pronounce that. There are new, also major changes coming to what. that players always have to be at all stages of the match. Attackers will be able to change the operator pick during the planning phase, allowing them to use what they find during during the scouts. Seeing many electronic devices, for example, may inform the player to change to faster will also allow players to use the phase to scout the location rather than just drive their drone back to their operator. During the support phase, after dying, both the able to access and use their deployed gadgets to defend attackers so as a drug on the map, they were able to drive it around while a defender such as a maestro would be able to still use it. This will help keep players engaged in death. Operator stats are being overhauled to make them clear. The armor statistics of each operator will be changed to health and this will be pre represented by their HP and And high health operators will be buffed by 20 and 40 HP. 15 seconds remaining. And 10 seconds to go. Five seconds left. We'll be trapped. Operators, you are out of time. Walls as well, still provide the denial skill without being too harsh on attackers' operators. Mira and Maestro are both getting the same chain into glass, and their grenade gadgets can be shattered by attackers, which will obstruct vision. The Black Mira slash Evil Eye will need to be open to provide sightness again. So, sight lines again, that's what it says. A new customization system is coming for the operator skins that allows you to mix and match headgear uniforms and victory dances. Talking of, of skins, veteran, ex Capcom designers, Yukimi, 
Nakamura has to add a new skin for a selection of operators, including speaker looks for Dakobi, Echo, and Hoban. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Geo Valentine skin coming to Sophia. All the subjects of IP crossover themselves have a need to also be to do with Rick and Morty. Who are also Attackers have located the bomb. will be rolled out over the course of the year. It should be noted that these will all hit the technical test server on PC first round. and may live there for an exhaust. Matching overtime. So to demeritize the game. Yeah, I just lost my Are you a betting man, Harry? That you assume I favor one side over the other. The you know me better than that, Sam. Besides, I left my wallet at home. Attackers, prepare for insertion. Team Mira to the map. Do not to the map. Do not the map. Do not the map. Do not the the map. Do not the map. Do the 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 Doka, like now, Roger. Let's go fishing. Peace out. Good to go, Jordan. Copy that. Three attackers remaining. Anyway, something tells me this fight ain't over. To be able to react quickly, you must remove unnecessary variables from the equation. Emotion for one, as well as the fear of consequence. Good reaction time and instinct can't be bought. <laughs> that won't stop me from trying. I don't know how you do things in the private sector, but we do not use people as bait here. This is a game, Princess. And I just want it for you. Keep her back! You're okay, 